you know, one of the important issues is uh, the internet is creating a cyber space. But this cyber space is being threatened by cyber criminals. So that is one of the threat to internet and internet users because internet is uh, creating a glass house where you can see everything. But in that glass house, there lives children, women, and there exist state, national states, financial institutions, and individuals. So the challenge of the day is that uh, the glass house is in the making. So it will not be stopped. But the, there are two technological and legal challenges. The technological challenge is to ensure security and legally also to ensure security of the children and dignity of the woman, security of the statecraft and security of the financial institutions and also ensure privacy of an individual. So these are the challenges we will have to be tackled in future. But in short I say the cyberspace should be safe uh, for everybody. Uh, so cyber criminals should be tackled very ruthlessly. For that, I think the world should come to an agreement on global cyber security. That is a cyber security treaty is necessary now to keep the cyberspace safe. Another thing is very important. Another challenge is who will govern the management of internet? So now, the management of internet is in one country, in the hands of one country. So this is a, internet has already become a global common and shared resource. So it is a people's property. So in that case, the people's property should not be governed by one country. It should have a democratic gover governance. So, so this here, the multi-stakeholderism or the multi-stakeholder governance issue is very important. So the transition from one country gov governance to multi-stakeholder governance, the, that is a very important issue for the internet management. Third is internet needs to be for all. But the world is divided in various languages, ethnicity, and disadvantaged people. So how you connect these disadvantaged people and women, poor, and various ethnicity and language diversification. So here, you need to develop certain technological standards which can help you to reach these disadvantaged people. These are the few things which are very important for the a, a, a people-friendly internet.